Well, I'm working on a video for y'all, but it's gonna take me quite a few days to uh, to edit all that footage down. It's quite remarkable, but um, for the topic of this video, based on what the title of the video is, um, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Now, I get a lot of comments on my hydrofrag videos, people saying like, you know, oh, you show all the process, but then you don't show the results afterwards. Well, the reason why is typically the customer doesn't pay for that, and it's gonna eat an entire day for me just to go and sit out there and pump it. And most of the time, I can't do, a, I can't perform a pump test until about three weeks later because we've injected like 2,500 gallons of water into the ground there. So we need to allow time for the water that we've injected to be used up and then the natural occurring water to sit there and replenish the well. So most of the time when I shoot a video, I upload it within about four or five days from when I shoot it. It's just you would get overloaded with the amount of stuff that you have being a content creator trying to cover all that. So I wanted to make this video because I have received the results for one of the frack jobs. If you remember back to the frack video, that is uh, the thumbnail says 4,100 feet of borehole, three dry wells on one property, and we hydrofracked the 1,200 foot well. He had a 1,400 footer that was dry, a 1,200 footer that was dry, and he had a 900 footer that was dry. So we fracked. 1200 foot hole and it did really really good and I was kind of blown away and I explained to him during the process how amazed that I was at how good uh, that frack did now if you haven't watched that video I suggest you go into my playlist section find the hydrofrac videos and scroll down to the thumbnail that says 4100 feet of borehole there's actually two fracks on that job um, or on that video but the second one was the one that we were most concerned about because one well driller drilled three dry holes on a man's property. And you know, it's not a well driller's fault or anything like that. It's just, it should have, after two dry holes, you should have been inquiring about hydrofracking. And we were told that somebody did come and frack the 900 footer, but deep down in my gut, I don't believe that, um, you know, why don't I believe that? Because he said he wasn't there when it was fracked uh, between the time he left for work and came home. Um, and typically, you know, when you frack a well, there's a lot of residual water that flows out. The ground around the well should be wet. So, and, and there should have been some improvement, especially based off the fact that they said they zone fracked it. They zone fracked it every 100 foot. So that's pressurizing like eight 100 foot sections of that borehole. Um, and the 1200 footer, which was about 150 feet away, we got amazing, amazing results. So, the results are, he had to pull the pump out of the 900 footer, which was 500 foot deep. We didn't recommend sticking the pump back at 500 foot, so he stuck it in at 350 foot. It is a five gallon a minute pump. He then acquired a water uh, depth sensor. It tells you where you're at with a little diode. You drop it in the well and it'll tell you where the water level is on a 200 foot string. So I told him, I said, you need to get accurate results. Try to draw the water level down to about 180, 190, 200 foot. I said, and then shut it off, wait 30 minutes, come back and measure, measure the level again. And the amount of water that has, has risen in the well in 30 minutes will give you your gallons per minute. Well, I gave him about a week and I didn't hear anything back, which I kind of felt bad about. And then I finally texted him again, and he goes, uh, he goes, I can't seem to get the water level in the well to drop past 90 foot. And I'm, and I'm like, huh? Like, that don't make no sense. What do you mean? Like, in my mind, I'm like, your sensor's broken. And um, he's like, no. He's like, I can get it to fluctuate from about 70 foot to 90 foot. And mind you, this was... 23 24 days ago at this point to at this point right now so it has it's been long enough for them to have used all the water that we um had injected <clears throat> into the ground and they hadn't ran out of water at all 
And I told him, I said, use it like normal. I said, because if it's going to mess up, we need it to mess up to where we know. And um, I, I told him, I go, uh, I said, that's good news. I said, if you've got a five gallon a minute pump and the water level in your well balances out when you're, when you're running hoses at 90 feet, then that realistically, a five gallon a minute pump can flow about seven gallons a minute. And especially with a 90 foot, you know, head on it. Uh, and that's where the water level balances out at. So that means at 90 foot, the well's making at least five gallons a minute. And the pump's at 350 foot. So I don't really know what that well makes, but it makes more than five gallons a minute. I can, I, I know that. Um, so that's absolutely incredible. Um, we took a well that was 1200 foot deep that had sat for, I think, I don't know, it sat for like two months before it filled up to like 30 foot from the surface. So that's something like 20 gallons a day or 15 gallons a day that was weeping into this borehole. And we sat there and fracked it with a 40 year old frack machine that just does an amazing job. And based off of the pressures that we had when we were there, I just knew we had a good frack. Um, but I have never seen one frack so drastic and go on such the side of good. Um, that is just absolutely crazy. Now, I will say this. When I was like 18 years old, we fracked for a drilling company called Brazil. And Brazil had like a 700-foot hole. And he said that his well was making like 70 gallons in four hours or, or 70 gallons in 24 hours. And uh, we came down. We drove like two hours and fracked it. Um, I remember it because it was the first time I had ever fracked. Um, and he ended up, Brazil ended up pump testing it and called us and said it made seven gallons a minute. So, you know, that was, that was pretty incredible. So, um, yeah, 1200 foot borehole went from making no water to making minimum five gallons a minute. More than that. It definitely makes more than that. But, um, I told him, I said, well, the next test that you've got to do is you've got to run two garden hoses and water your lawn and just leave them run. I said, because if you can just sit there and leave them, leave two garden hoses running for two, three hours, you can then go and check your water level in your well to see if it's even dropped past 90 foot. Because if it ain't dropping past 90 foot, then that well is flowing big time, big time. But just wanted to pass on that information to all my viewers because I know a lot of people get frustrated not seeing the results. Um, I've actually went back to a couple of them just to do results for the video sake um, and, and my own curiosity um, if they're local. Most of the time when we frack, it's about a 120 to 150 mile round trip. Um, it's too far for me to go to put a pump together, to put it in the well, to bring a generator, sit there for five or six hours, flow test a well, all for what, a number? I mean, if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. If it does work, then we don't get a call back. 99, 97% of the time, we don't ever get a call back. So I don't think there's any, ever been any frack so far that I've made a video on uh, that hasn't, hasn't, you know, benefited in one way or another. But uh, just wanted to pass that information on to y'all. Hope you enjoyed it. We have finally hit 100,000 subscribers. I want to thank y'all so much. That is an epic, epic thing. Um, yeah, super excited about it. But hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all on the next one. Get ready for it because it's going to be a good one.